don't solve problems. Yes, you heard that right. The worst thing you can do to a problem is to solve it. Hi, I'm Laksh. I talk and write about leadership for the 21st century, one that is rooted in systems thinking and helps us navigate the growing complexity around us. Let's talk about problems. You see, problems are just abstractions. They exist only inside our heads. Problems are always extracted from reality by analysis. No problem lives in isolation in a complex system. Let's get to an example. I'm sure you've heard about engineering problems, availability problems, security problems, quality problems, and so on. These are not problems that exist in isolation. They are all interacting in complex ways. There's a technical term for it. It's called mess. So let's say vulnerability management is broken in your organization. That's just the perspective of the security organization. Now, the adjective in front of the word problem says nothing about the problem. It only says something about the person saying it. Now, if vulnerability management is broken, if you start peeling the layers of the onion, what you'll notice is broken, or in some cases non-existent, asset management, basically inventory, config management, OS image management, legacy applications that cannot be patched and rebooted in an automated fashion, and so on, interacting in complex ways. And so that's a mess. Therefore, the job of a manager is not to solve problems, but to figure out what mess is this problem embedded in and drive synergistic efforts to dissolve problems and manage the mess. If you want to learn more about how to dissolve problems, both at work and at life, check out the links in the description. Until next time, I'm going to leave you with the wise words of wisdom of the systems thinker, Russell Akoff. Thank you.